in the state of Georgia, if there's no will, how do you determine who inherits what? I put this question in here because I I know that this might seem simple to you. Oh, no, no, no. I just don't have any idea, so I wanted to ask. So if you're married to someone and have no children, the spouse is the sole beneficiary. If you, Which means they get everything. They get everything. The, is that very tough to do? That like, makes it very easy for me. Sweet. If there's only a spouse and no children, it would be the spouse would be the heir. If there's a spouse and children, the spouse and the children would divide the estate. With the spouse never taking less than a third. So if there's one spouse and one kid, they would divide it down the middle. But if there were two children, the wife would get a third. The child, one child A would get a third, child B would get a third. Gotcha. And then if there was more than three children, the spouse would still get locked in at one third, and then the remaining two thirds would get divided out. So if any of the children predeceased the person, then we have to do another examination. For any child that predeceased the original person, if that person who, if that child had their own children, their children would jump into the place of the parent. If the child had their own children. Yeah. So now there's grandchildren. So the, the grandchildren of the deceased. Yeah. The grandchildren of the deceased person would jump into the place of the child. Okay, so the child has passed away. And the Before grandchildren. the parent. Gotcha. And the grandchildren are surviving the child. Yeah, the grandchildren okay. would step in. Are they are they one actor or are they two separate people? They're two separate people. For the, so in, they in get, this particular estate. They get a bigger cut. Then. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it, they would still share their parents' part, but they had gotcha. to individually sign off. Let's say it's an area where there, were, there was mm -hmm. a spouse, there one spouse and one child, mm -hmm. and the child died before the parent, but that child had two children. Mm -hmm. So in that case, the spouse would still keep that half but then each of the grandchildren get a quarter. They get 25%. They would cool. inherit their parent's share. And But if, in, in the situation where that child died with no children and no lineal descendants, the spouse would, st would jump back into being the sole heir. Got if in a situation where there is no spouse and is no ch and are, are there, there is no spouse and are no children, um, then the Georgia law starts looking outward for heirs. Okay. So next in line would be the parents. If there's no parents, then it looks to the siblings of the deceased person. And if there's no siblings, then we have to look down to see if any of those siblings had children, like nieces and nephews. And if that's not the case, and there's no downline from the siblings, then we have to look up another generation and look at their the deceased decedent's grandparents. And then if there's no grandparents, we have to look at the decedent's aunts and uncles and see if there's any downline. And eventually we keep going up and over and over and over until we find their nearest relation. Wow. And in this, and most times it's not that much right. effort. Um, and also in this calculation, half siblings count as full siblings. Okay. So if there's ever any half siblings, we still loop them into to the estate. Essentially, we're looking for the nearest blood relation. Um, the, no, the people, it's key also remember the, the people who never get involved or are never heirs. Anyone without a legal relationship aren't heirs. If someone if someone like treated you like a child but never fully adopted you, you you aren't an heir. If there's like a long term relationship with or without without marriage, not an heir. But if you're not a blood relation, you're not an heir. So if you want to leave it to someone who's not that, you should have had a will or trust set up to accomplish that effect, or jointly titled lead them the beneficiary of the account and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404. 738-9538 and you can also leave us an email at the address below.